Good morning. It's uh, Rick at uh, Jude and Rick Sugarbush in Prince Edward County, Ontario. Tuesday, March uh, 24th, kind of a gray, damp, cold morning. I'm going to fire up the evaporator for uh, probably one of the last times this year, and I thought I would review my siphon system since a number of people have been asking about it. So just to recap, here's my uh, evaporator rig I built, five stainless steel pans and a stretched oil tank uh, evaporator. Cold sop supplied by this uh, raised uh, bin down this line with a valve I can control the flow. And then I have these siphons, stainless steel tubing with a enlarged cap and uh, wired on so that sap can flow through. And what I do is I'll take the, there's a good look at it. I take these uh, siphons and I immerse them, I immerse them in sap. You can see the air bubbles coming out. So I'm trying to bleed all the air out of the, uh, out of the tubing. So roll it around here a little bit. Last drop of air, and last bubble. And then I set it up and you can see I can test it here. If I immerse it in this container, I'm getting sap flow. So I'll put it back in the tank. And then what I'll do is I'll just turn on some sap here in this first pan. And we'll watch closely in the second pan to see how the flow of sap begins to take place as the other siphon is immersed. So as the level in the first pan goes higher, sap is moving from this pan, or that pan to this pan, to uh, keep it moving. And then of course, on down the line, and this last pan is uh, pretty much uh, oh, better than halfway to syrup by the time I finish my day. So uh, that's my setup. Uh, that's how I'm doing it and uh, having a ball. So I hope that was helpful and uh, take care.